Okay, let's go over this one more time. I don't know you. Good. I don't talk to you? Excellent. Damn, I don't even make eye contact with you. Perfect. Now, you're just there merely for a distraction. I'm gonna go on first and you wait exactly seven minutes and then you come in. Got it. Now I'll ask the clerk a question and you delay and you start asking your questions. What do you suggest? Well, the trend is eco-friendly. Last year it was this virgin organic cotton thing. It's whatever. Just be concerned with where it was made and what it was made from. Now the ex-porn star clerk, now she's gonna try and give her best performance to make you believe the lies that she's telling you. Just go along with her sales pitch. Now once she thinks she's got you and all her focus is on you, that'll give me a window of about one to three minutes to grab $1,500 worth of gap. Let me leave the store first and then you follow orderly and quietly. You have this down to a science. I should. I've been doing this for a while and I only have one mark on my record. Choplifting? Yeah, who would have thought? Yeah, I didn't start doing this until I got convicted when I was completely innocent. Tell me about it. Please, we <laughs> have the time. Seems like a good story. Stores don't open for another 10 minutes. Well, I grew up an awkward kid, and I survived on thrift store clothing. One day, my mom got quite a bit of money, and she wanted to take me to this really fancy store to surprise me for my 16th birthday. We went to a store like this one, tried on a few things, and the clerk was such a prick. I understood why once I saw the price tags. So as we were trying on things, I saw that my mom was really bothered by this and that it really hurt her that she couldn't afford these things, but it didn't really bother me. As we were trying things on, the store clerk kept on getting closer and closer to me, but I didn't really think much of it at the time. Sounds like a security guard with a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> Yeah, but that wasn't the problem. Anyway, I saw this pair of shoes that was really marked down, and I didn't really like them, but I pretended I loved them and went to go find my mom. She was outside talking to a policeman, and when she saw me, she had this look on her face. When the police saw me, they asked her if I was her daughter, and then they waved me over. So I went out there to see her and to see what was going on. Man, that clerk was such a little prick. He said that we were the ones that had been shoplifting from the local stores. Then he looked inside the window and the other clerk shook his head yes. And then they saw it. The shoes? Yes. I had carried them out with me when I walked out the store. Cops. Hmm. The store clerk pressed charges and off to jail we went. Yeah, but it gets worse. So. I get out of jail and they set a date for our trial. And during that time, they found and charged the people who were actually doing the shoplifting. So I thought that was my way out. At the trial, the prosecutor asked me to plead no contest. We explained what happened and he just looks at me. He knew I was innocent. Now the problem is, the prosecutors need the cops to trial the other cases. And there was no way that they were gonna cross the line and let an innocent person go. That's why I could care less. I say, fuck them. They deserve what they get.